Plural noun proposition papers. Today we're looking at Cornell notes. And Cornell note taking has been around since about 1940. It's actually created by a professor at Cornell University, one of the top universities in the country. And it was designed to help students in high school and in college uh, as a new note taking method. Now it used to be that the professor the or the, the lecturer or the the person you're watching on a TV screen, you're just writing notes, just side by side, writing notes, almost like you were journaling, right? Well, in Cornell notes, there's a, a, a new layout so, so that the student could not only uh, use the notes in a future reference, but also be able to add to their current notes as they were taking notes. It's really an ingenious method. And so when you see the layout here, and you'll, you'll see that it's kind of a, of, a, of a system like this where you can write it down, you can write your lines, and that's kind of the, the basic frame or, or the shell of your, uh, of your uh, Cornell note page. Um, all plural noun proposition papers are going to begin with, with some kind of brainstorming or, or note-taking method. And so... As you're reading, as you're listening to a podcast, reading a book or an article, maybe you're watching a YouTube video or you're watching a lecture, you should be taking uh, notes. Now, one of the big questions that a lot of students ask is, well, what, what, should, what notes should I be taking? Well, again, if you understand what you're trying to accomplish in a plural noun proposition, if you understand that there's a question being asked, if you understand that there's an argument that you're trying to win, or if you just understand that you're being asked to, re to listen, read, or repeat the lecture that you're given, then that's the information that you're going to want to take to put down in your piece of paper. And so as you're taking notes, you should be taking notes that are, let's say, answering that question. So behind me on the board, you see I kind of have an, an example uh, Prager U. I'm watching a Prager U video and it's on is college worth it? And so right away, you know, okay, there's my trigger, right? I'm looking, I'm listening for the different statements, the different supporting facts, illustrations uh, that are going to help me to write this paper. And so it's very important that you understand uh, why you're taking the notes. Very important. Uh, Cornell notes, like I said, are, offer you really two kind of key things. They offer you the flexibility to go back and add to your notes. And, and the thing I like best is to really highlight key points. And so I use my notes as reference points all the time. And so l let's say you're listening to a sermon and, you, and you, you've listened to the entire sermon. You want to understand, well, wh what was the main point of the sermon? What were the three points of the sermon? Where, where do you put the, the cross-reference scriptures that maybe uh, you want to write down? And so I find Cornell Notes, especially, I can listen to the sermon and, and put kind of my notes here. And on this side, I leave for my cross-reference verses. Or the other thing is you can also use that to put things like questions. Right? I do that all the time. I'll, I'll write my questions um, and then I can write that down and then get the answer later. So we can always use this as a, as a future reference point. Uh, you want to begin again with kind of your basic layout. There's your basic layout, right? You're going to have the main ideas in the main body and then kind of the, you know, some of the bigger ideas, the big, big picture ideas, or in our case, the things that you may be using for your, your main uh, heading for your plural noun propositions. And then what I always like to do at the end of my note taking, whether I'm reading, listening, or watching is on the bottom, I like to write a little summary in my own words, in my own words, a summary of, of what I just listened to so that I can always go back and look at that and then instantly reconnect with, with, uh, those lessons. So very, very important that you, uh, do that really for yourself. Um, Cornell notes begins with look, write your name, write 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 uh, the the 
title, the heading. So here you got my name, Tony Jamie, Prager U. If you're turning it in, nothing more frustrating as a teacher than you, you have a paper and you don't know who wrote it. Um, also, just for your own record keeping. If you're consistent in your, in your record keeping, then you can just kind of file, file through top left-hand corner. Okay, I'm looking for Prager U, Prager U, Prager U, right? And so that makes a lot of sense that you would want to uh, sort it out that way. You, you see kind of how it looks there and then have the heading of the document as well. On the left hand side over here, you're going to see, okay, well, what do we put there? That's the place where as you're taking your notes, maybe a little bit after even as you're taking, you're going to shift over some, as I mentioned before, some keywords. Here's a key word or maybe a key point. Um, you you want to highlight those things. You can even circle and, and, and kind of draw an arrow. So in the example that I've given behind me where I said, is college worth it? I'm sitting there and I'm listening to, uh, let's say I'm listening to or I'm watching a video, right? And as I'm taking my notes and I'm watching the video, right? And here we've got time is addressed, you know, and then here we've got debt is addressed. And then um, let's say finally uh, skills, okay? So these were, let's say, main ideas that I drew from watching the video. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those up over here. Time, debt, and skills. Now you can almost guess what I'm going to go from there. Okay, so now those are the main ideas that I drew from the lecture or from the video. I'm going to put maybe some important facts, maybe some uh, people, some supporting evidence. Maybe I have to define those terms. Maybe it's a cross-reference. Um, could be uh, any, any number of things that now are going to begin to uh, become really good, valuable notes. Because what's my next step? My next step is I'm going to brainstorm. I'm going to brainstorm for a paper that I have to write. Very rarely are you going to be in school or in a class where when you're reading, watching, or listening to something, you're not going to have to have some kind of an assignment, right? And so you want to be able to have really good notes like Cornell Notes to uh, help you out with that. The, the other thing is we use the main ideas. So how you take your notes, whether it's shorthand, is, is really up to you. Some people are really good at taking notes and instantly doing them in, in, in kind of an outline form. Just remember, you want to get the main points down. I, I like doing bullet points, uh, make, you know, kind of help separate ideas. Uh, diagrams or charts are always great. Uh, paraphrase, always paraphrase. You don't have to write out every single little article, right? Um, sketch some notes that'll, that'll help you use uh, lines, use circles, Use different colors, have different color pens, have different color pencils. That is a very uh, helpful way for, for you to, to keep notes. Remember in your main points, if, if the teacher is writing something down on the board or if the teacher is repeating something, you probably wanna write it down. That's probably a good thing to write down in, in, your, uh, in your Cornell notes. And then your summary, like I said earlier, your summary, you want to write, you know, kind of the, the, the last key points. You want to summarize, uh, you know, paraphrase the entire lecture for yourself. This is, again, going to be a good reference point for you for when you go to do your final paper, your plural noun proposition paper. You already have some kind of, uh, you know, f format, some kind of, of ideas about what that conclusion might be because you've taken good notes and, and those notes have a concluding statement in them too. So remember by the end, by the end of your note taking, you know, you've been taking notes and you've got your, you know, your summary here. That's what it's going to look like. And, and there could be arrows, there could be red color, black color, but it should be a full page. that looks like this. But in three key categories, we kind of have three different segments but it's very organized, it's very clean, and that'll uh, enable you 
to use that as that reference so that when you go to your brainstorming and the assignment is, well, what are the three key points from the PragerU video regarding it's in college, is college worth it? You know right away, hey, you know what? Time, debt, skills, boom. Time, boom, debt, boom, skills, right? And so now you can really begin your brainstorming with a process. Maybe there were, um, you know, other things, maybe there was location um, that was involved. Maybe there was, you know, the, the major. You kind of don't know. And so in your brainstorming process now, now we would know I'm not going to use location. I'm not going to use major. We're going to go time, time, debt, skills. So plural noun proposition always begins with brainstorming, which really is a pre, uh, the precursor to that is going to be your note taking. And we suggest strongly that you use Cornell notes.